Hey guys, just, uh, hey guys, how's it going? This is John here. I uh, just want to talk about some books I picked up this week and uh, some books that I picked up last week that I really feel like I um, want to bring to your attention that I thought were good and uh, are worth picking up if you guys didn't pick them up. Uh, first book I'm going to talk about is Amazing Spider-Man, number 699.1. This is a, a $2.99 commercial for Morbius. It's coming out. Um, don't have much to say about this book other than uh, I don't give a shit about Morbius. So that was a waste. Suicide Squad, number 15. Um, this is cool. This read pretty good. Um, I like the fact that Harley Quinn now, uh, she kind of outgrew the Joker. You know, I used to pull Suicide Squad in the beginning, and when she first found out that uh, there was a rumor around that Joker was dead and his face had been removed, uh, there's a few issues there that were so fun, and, and we saw her going nuts looking for Joker's face. Uh, if you guys want to read that, just pick up the trade or go back to issues uh, 6, 7, 8, I think it is. Uh, that was good. I recommend those issues of Suicide Squad. But I dropped this book after that. I'm just, I, when I go to comic shop, I flip through the pages and uh, I see if it's a Harley Quinn story, if it's, if it's stories about some, like, like that shark guy. Man, I hate characters who are like half human, half animal. I, mean, I think it's so cheesy and so lame. Uh, Oh god, it's so stupid. I hate characters like that. You know, I'm not in, I'm not into that. But uh, this book is okay. Uh, Death and Family tie in. Some jokers, stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Um, Batman and Robin, Death of the Family, number 15. Got the die cut cover. You know me, I love Batman and Robin. I've been pulling this book. It's like the first book I uh, bought when DC, DC 52 came out. And um, I'm not saying it's the best. I just want to get that out there. I'm not saying it's the best DC book. It's not my favorite. I'm just saying it's the first. And um, this uh, this is actually this was actually my pick of the week. But this book before Batman and Robin, it's a book that goes up and down with me. Uh, I noticed the first few pages of previous issues are good. They're I'm so into them, and I've said this before. It just uh, maybe it's like the change of arts. I know they've had guest artists on there that share duties with the art. It gets just weird and lame and it totally affects the story. But uh, this book was not like that. This book was good. This is actually my favorite book. Uh, I think this book has the best art for Joker and his face. Um, cause it, and it, Greg Capullo has been... I know everyone loves Greg Capullo and stuff like that, but... Uh, it's it's not my favorite, you know. It's just it's not my favorite. I'm not saying he sucks. He's I loved Greg Capullo on Spawn. I have all I have issues from one to 150 of Spawn, and uh, I love Greg Capullo. But I'm I just don't like him doing the Joker. You know, uh, I didn't know I was supposed to like what everyone else likes. Sorry, but Batman and Robin was good. Uh, one thing about this book that bothered me a bit was the fact that in every Death of the Family tie-in story, uh, Joker has been giving in the window and reference to that he knows, I know who you are, I know who you are, and he'll slap and he'll drop a bomb here or two that kind of gives you the idea, hey man, he knows what he's talking about, he actually does know Batman is Bruce Wayne, because why would he kidnap Alfred, but we think that's because Bruce Wayne is... Uh, head of Batman Inc. But if, even with Barbara Gordon as Batgirl, you know, we, we kind of get the impression, oh shit, Joker knows. Joker knows. And this book, I got no impression that Joker knows that Damien is Batman's son. So, I was, I don't know, I was like, but it was a great story. It was my pick of the week, just for other stuff. But that, I just found, I think Sleepy Reader as well, um, noticed that hole in the book. Too. I'm looking a little closer. Batman number 15. Uh, fantastic book. Beautiful. Um, but it did read a little weird in the middle when it came to that um, dream sequence or that 
hallucination that Batman was having where he had the whole family standing before him on the bed uh, kind of threw me up and then when he came to and, he, and uh, the family was all there um, I love Jason Todd's uh, you know attitude where uh, everyone's like you know voicing their concern and with Nightwing leading the charge Say, why didn't you tell us that you, you know, the Joker knows who we are or thinks he knows who we are? Um, I just found that dialogue, though, though it was just, it was reading juvenile and sort of lame. It, it felt repetitive. It was like, why didn't you tell us? Why didn't you tell us? But why didn't you tell us? But why didn't you, it, it's, I don't know, that was bothering. The fresh, the part that kept that fresh for me was, uh, the way Greg Capullo drew uh, Jason Todd in the background with his arms crossed, you know, just, you know, kind of like, you know, um, like the black sheep of the family. And, uh, and once in a while, he, you know, throw in like this quick remark. It was, it was that's what, that was good. But this issue is, I, I hope, I think what happened here is going to, I'll probably appreciate 15 when I read 16, because I think this is like a setup for something, something, uh, very big to come. So I'm not knocking this book down because I'm, I'm biased to DC. Oh, everyone's noticing my green tape here. Um, this is a present for Greco Fabulous. It's a Transformer. Transform! <laughs> oh, my battery's dying. I got Batgirl. That was good. I got this. That was old. Oh, anyone thought I love trouble? This book is awesome. You guys pick it up. It's done in pulp. It's like it's not like a glossy uh, comic book. Paper. You should pick this up. It's really good. Some of the books are sucked. Captain America. Why would you guys come in to pick this up? This is garbage. Uh, Walking Dead 105. Uh, is it me or is Negan awesome? I love this villain. This villain Negan. So good. Uh, 105. Phenomenal, man. I don't know. Something very good about it. What else come up? Uh, Fantastic Four number two. I said I was gonna drop it, but this one came around very warm and fuzzy. I don't know. I it was maybe it's because I read on the Saturday morning and I was in a good mood, but I like Fantastic Four number two. Not too bad. What else? What else? Oh, I got the image first. Walking Dead one and shoe number one. So I'm loving shoe by the way. You guys, I wish I jumped on shoe earlier, but man. I jumped on 30, and, uh, man, it's so effing good. But anyways, uh, that battery's dying, and I have more important things to do, so I'll see you later.